From classrooms to design shops, 3D printers seem to be popping everywhere. And as you would expect for a product that appeals to everyone from professional designers to educators to hobbyists, 3D printers vary widely in the features they offer and the amount they cost. In this video, we are going to be checking out the top 5 best 3D printers in the market. You can find links to the products in the description. If you have another product in mind that you would like us to review, please comment down below. We'll look into it as soon as possible and let you know how it compares to the items listed in this roundup. So without further ado, let's get started with the list. Let's not beat around the bush here. One of the most appealing features of the Creality Ender 3 is its incredibly low price point. Still, it has a heated bed, a decent user interface, and a sturdy frame. On the downside, the Ender 3 only offers a modest print area of 220 by 220 by 250 mm. Sure, there is no shortage of decent Chinese Prusa i3 clones, and some are very reasonably priced. Still, if you're looking for the best 3D printer in the low budget category, you want a machine that balances the drawbacks of affordable components with printing quality and reliability. Creality even decided to make the Ender 3 open source so that everyone can hack and modify it to its full potential. In the last few months since the release, we've seen a growing and vibrant community develop great mods and upgrades for this excellent little affordable printer. Moving on at number 4, we have i3 Mega from Anycubic. It is pretty much a plug and play machine. Load a spool of filament, start the print, and plug it off the build plate once it's ready. And that's how it's supposed to be, right? Since the price of the Anycubic i3 Mega has come down roughly a third, the printer is even more interesting. If you're mostly printing PLA and PET, this could be a machine for you. The ultra based 3D printing bed worked fine for us. When heated, the prints stick to the bed. Once cold, you can remove the print without hassle most of the times. The Anycubic i3 Mega comes pre-built with decent instructions and offers some nice features. Filament sensor, heated bed, sturdy full metal frame that are usually to be found in higher priced machines. Careful with the filament sensor though, we had occasions where it simply didn't work. It might not look like much, but the Creality CR10 has caused a bit of satire in the wider 3D printing community. The key metric that brings it home is the price to volume ratio, as in, this is a budget FDM machine with a massive build space of 300 by 300 by 400 mm. Further upgrades can push out the capacity to 400 by 400 by 400 mm, or even up to 500 mm. The Creality CR10 is rather basic, with an open face frame with a heated bed, SD card reader, and LCD controls with an external power brick. At the end of our testing, we became quite fond of this machine. There's something alluring about the possibilities that a big print volume presents. And when that kind of excitement is backed up by a printer that outputs high quality prints, well, that's just pretty damn special. Still, be prepared to tinker with it to get the best results possible. It's a real maker's machine. The Ultimaker 3 is a formidable machine and the dual extrusion system capable lives up to the quality of its single extrusion predecessors. Build quality is solid, and performance and reliability are excellent. However, dual extrusion on the Ultimaker 3 comes at the cost of speed. Think double, triple, or even quadruple the print times. In addition, we find the Ultimaker 3 suffers from few small issues that hold it back from a perfect 10. The new print head and cores are excellent, but the real holder, despite the settings, reading usefulness of NFC, is still hidden away around the back of the 3D printer making it a hassle to access. Additionally, new support materials such as PVA can spit while they are being extruded. 
Without a front screen, these filament flakes go everywhere. Such niggles are small, however. And as dual extrusion systems go, the Ultimaker 3 blends quality and reliability well. If they could up the print speeds, then the Ultimaker 3 would truly be the ultimate all-around 3D printer. The 3D Vox 2X is ready to help you throughout your printing. 2X will say printing is complete when the printing job is done. Should there be any errors occurring, it'll guide users through troubleshooting methods. Just listen to what it has to say, you will know what to do. 3D printers use various materials that can create dust during printing and they came up with a dust safe answer. It's high efficiency particulate air filters designed to arrest very fine particles effectively. It'll trap the dust from the materials, filter it out and create a particularly healthy printing atmosphere. This machine is powerful and robust, yet the most silent 3D printer you've ever heard of. With its library noise level of 40 dB, you can now enjoy all kinds of things, such as getting other works done, eating an ice cream or simply going to sleep without being disturbed. Let this machine bring peace in mind with silence. The Sindo 3D Vox is a piece of art. In our time with it, it reliably churned out print after print with no fuss or drama. And after throwing over a dozen prints at it, we were presently surprised that not even one failed.